What's good everybody? It's your boy Rishraf back at it again and today we got a 5 star wanted system. Really excited for this one so let's get right into the video. We're gonna untouch it and boom. We have a 3 star wanted level. So that's what the wanted system looks like. You can simply give your player a 5 star wanted level or however many star wanted level you want. So I think that's pretty cool. So the first thing you're going to want to do is let's go ahead and make the UI for it. So you're going to want to go to the starter UI and you insert and then we're going to go to screen UI. After you go to screen UI, let's just name it something like um, wanted UI. Alrighty. And then let's go ahead and insert two things. We're going to insert a frame. We'll call this uh, just frame and then we'll insert a local script as well. Awesome, the, the names of these things don't really matter. Um, so for the frame, I'm just gonna make like a little UI. Um, I'm not gonna speed it up because I want you guys to like see um, how I set it up so that way you guys can set it up because uh, let me just tell you, naming is very important here and this will be able to tell you like how to configure everything. I can't resize this frame uh, for some reason. Okay, so I was able to get it like that. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the toolbox and we're going to go to images. And once we go to images, we're going to search up like something like star. And then something like star, will, I mean, you guys can do whatever you guys want. I'm just using star. I like this one. Um, I'm just going to like put it on the base plate or whatnot. Then what we'll do is we'll copy the ID of the star right here, the Roblox texture ID. Sorry for any computer fans in the background. Uh, really do apologize that about that. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll go to the image label. We'll insert an image label. So you're gonna have five of these. So I'm literally, um, actually do me a favor and go to the frame and change the background transparency let's see, to like one. So that way the frame's not really in the way. Um, I just put the frame there, hold on. I just put the frame there because like, you know, it's better. So then what we'll do is we'll press command D or control D if you're on windows or whatnot. And then we'll like put this star here. I'm not going to do it like super centered because once again, I'm a scripter, not a UI guy. Okay. So I just made this, this is the five star thingy. And then I'm going to command all of these. I'm going to select all these. Now I'm going to go to the properties and I'm going to go ahead and just change the uh, image to the selected texture. Now, there you go. I have five stars right here on my screen. So you guys just successfully made a UI. Now, what you're going to want to do is go to the first one. Now, I, I, these are out of order because I made them out of order, but this is the first one, right? So you're going to go ahead and name it star, capital S, star one. Okay. Then what you're going to want to do is find the second one. Now, this is useful because you guys can do the order that you would like it in. So star two, then for the third one, we're going to have star three. Now this one's just like GTA. It's literally as close as to GTA as you want. Star four, and then we'll name this one star five. Awesome. So you can see that I have my star names here. And inside this local script, let's actually get to scripting this local script here. And what we're going to do is we're going to say PLR equals game dot players dot local player skip two lines we'll say wanted level equals plr find first child and we'll say wanted level now you're probably like wait roblox characters have wanted levels nah we have to make one which is super easy and super efficient now i used only three scripts for this tutorial it can be done in two um it's just the third one is giving the player some stars We'll call this uh, actually right here, call it wanted GUI. So right here is the name of the UI and that's all you have to focus on right now. Then what we're going to do is we're going to skip another line and we'll say wanted level dot changed. And you're probably like, wait, hold up, Rishraf, what's going on right now? Well, when the wanted levels changed and that's the amount of stars we have, once this is changed, let's skip a line there. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to set them. So we'll say four IV in pairs and we'll say wanted frame. And I'll explain a lot more because you guys are like, wait, Rishraf, I'm literally just following along. I'm so confused. And honestly, 
a lot of people have been following along in the videos and like that just is really like I really appreciate that you know it gets my watch time up on YouTube and I really value that because it's like I can literally like get I can reach more audiences and so I can grow the channel make more videos for you guys you know so I really appreciate you guys just keep watching the video and I appreciate the comments each video and then we'll say four count equals one so this is a for loop so what we just did was uh, I like to call it a for each or a uh, four IV in pairs loop and what this does is for every star right here we have star two star three star whatever we're gonna set them to visible equals false okay so we're gonna set them to not be visible like in GTA you don't see your stars until you get them then what we're gonna do is we're gonna end that and we'll say wanted level dot value do so we're gonna count by ones and we're gonna say for each wanted level, so one, two, three, we'll say wanted frame. This is, we're setting the stars uh, to be what we want. We'll say star, then we'll say dot, dot, count. And we'll say dot visible equals true. Now what we just did was we said for all the stars in the wanted frame, we're gonna to count to as many wanted levels we are it's kind of hard to explain but for every like stars we get for being wanted we're gonna say find that star with that number so like if it for example if we're like at two right if we get a wanted level of two it this is gonna execute twice it's gonna say okay our value is two so we're gonna count once it's gonna go one and then it's gonna find the star so count is one so it's gonna say star one boom that's gonna be set to visible equals true but since it was count two we're gonna repeat this twice so we're going to go again. Our count is two. It's going to wanted frame star dot dot. And it's going to say two. Now it's going to find star two and set it visible. That's it for this local script. Now what we're going to do, go ahead and go to the stars that you have. And just do me a favor and just set, whoa, just set them to visible equals false. Now they won't be visible at all. Go to the server script storage or server script service. And now this can be put in a leaderboard script. This can be conservative. If you know what you're doing, if you know how to code, then you know what, go ahead and you know what to do because this is a player added connect function. So we're gonna start off by saying local players equals game get service. I'm gonna say players and I'm gonna auto ink. And then we'll say players dot player added connect, I'll say function player because this is a built-in thing now if you guys watch the nil to mill functions video it basically explains uh, parameters arguments like that say so player find first child wanted level then so if we cannot find notice in the local script we said find first child wanted level well what we'll do is we'll say if not if they don't if we can't find something called wanted level, we'll say local int equals instance dot new. And then we'll say int value. And then we'll say comma, we'll say player. Player, make sure not players because that would like error it. We'll say int dot name equals wanted level. Make sure you guys spell this right. I'm also going to make a new video on how to read output because I get a lot of like, suge not suggestions, but a lot of questions like my output's telling me this, this and that. And I'm like, bro, it's just a simple fix. So I'm going to show you guys how to read output in an upcoming video. And let's go ahead and name this script uh, wanted board. Um, it's not really useful uh, in this case to name it. I'm just doing it for the sake of this video so you guys can see what script I'm editing now boom so we have this this is that and it's super simple it's not going to show up on the leaderboard because we didn't put it in a leader stats folder now we have everything and now what we need to do is just make a simple script on giving our player a wanted level so if you guys want to know how to do it i'm going to be doing a hit function so when you touch the brick it's going to go ahead and give us uh, some stars so i'm going to make it really easy for you guys no need to name the part go ahead and go to insert and search up int value and we'll call this um star we'll call it star or stars sorry we'll call it stars then we'll insert a script into the part i know this is like a long process but trust me if you guys can get like the sim the simplicity of it then you guys will like totally understand we'll say star count equals script dot parent dot stars dot value 
whenever you're using an int value, string value, always use dot value at the end. And then we'll say script dot parent. So when this part is touched, we'll say we'll connect it to a function and we'll say hit. The basic, honestly, I can't even like tell you how many times we've hit, we've used the hit function on this channel. Like literally we've used it in like almost every video because like, it's like my favorite one because it's like, you know, you get to interact with it. Also, I would like to give a huge announcement that I am coming out of script retirement of when I, I remember I got banned um, a few years ago or last year or two um, and then I stopped and then I just switched to YouTube but I'm coming out of retirement um, but that won't affect my YouTube at all it'll actually pr make me uh, make more videos so anyways so let me go over the scripts we'll just say this is like a star giver so you guys know what I mean let's go ahead and open up all the scripts here now for those of you who are like first timers who want to add this to your game please just Listen and watch what I'm about to say uh, so you can really understand how this works and how you can configure it to your own thing because this doesn't even have to stop at wanted. This could stop, this could lead to a race system. So let's go ahead and start with the wanted board. When our player joins, we will give them a wanted level. And I just spelled wanted wrong. So make sure you spell it right, all right, guys? We'll give them a wanted level. If they don't have one, we'll give them it. This is how you give them it. Then once that happens, we have our UI with our frames and with our stars, and we'll say, okay, when there, when the player's wanted level changed, when it changes, we'll go ahead and set all the stars visible equals false. So means we'll set them invisible; they won't be seen. And then for every wanted level they are, we'll set the star true, and this will indicate how many wanted levels you have. And then the star giver is basically just. If we have a player that touches it, we'll set their wanted level to as many stars as we want. Now, this is how you can simply give it. You see our value is zero. This is how many stars you can give. For this case, I'm gonna give three stars, okay? And I'll be changing it throughout. So I'm gonna give three stars. I'm gonna go ahead and press play. All right, so my part is in front of me. We're gonna go ahead and touch it and boom. We have a three star wanted level. It's not gonna go away. Um, you guys can add a little like thing. Like when it changes, you can make it flash like in GTA. Uh, searching stuff like that whatever uh, searching what you would do is you would say if not uh, if it doesn't change like if the value is still the value so in this case it would be like if value still equals three or whatever uh, wait and then you'd say if you know waited repeat until <laughs> like you could literally do that I didn't even think of that you could do like a whole searching system like if it's been a certain amount of time then the cops won't search for you stuff like that so just so you guys know, I didn't change anything. I'm gonna go ahead and change it to a value of just one star, you know, we minor misdemeanor and we'll go ahead and press test. And then we will go ahead and go in here and we will go here and boom, we get one star. So that's about it. Please, please make a purchase on Limitless Gamer or Loaded Fitness. Um, I really, really appreciate you guys watching the channel, watching the full videos because Trust me, you're going to learn a lot more, even if you're like, what the heck is going on? You're going to learn a lot more watching the whole video than someone who just goes and link and gets an uncopy locked place. So thank you so much, so much for watching, guys. We really appreciate you guys. Um, I don't have my computer uh, for a little bit, so this episode is going to be scheduled in advance on Tuesday. Um, I forget the date, but it's going to drop. Well, why am I telling you it's going to drop when it's literally you're watching the video right now so uh that's a future thing uh anyways guys please support me uh on the website contact at rishraf.com is the email if you want to contact me uh only discord and twitter are approved contact methods although i don't recommend contacting through twitter because my dms may be off or whatnot um, but yeah thank you guys so much for watching have a great day and stay safe and if you guys have any more suggestions don't worry that car shop is coming the car customization shop is coming. Uh, if we get a certain amount of watch time on the channel, I'll keep you guys updated. Uh, if we get a certain amount of views, then yeah, we'll go ahead and hit the car customization shop. Peace!